Hey everybody, another video here for you today. I want to thank Dendo for sharing her talent and class with the channel. I'm always proud to upload videos from her. The site we're going to talk about today really goes along with the site I talked about yesterday. Jurf LMR, we are going down to another flooded site here. This is called Halan Sami. It's located right down here. Underwater today, dam project on the Batman River here. Batman or Batman, I'm not sure how it is pronounced over there. But here is the area where this land was flooded. This site right down here it got started about 11,600 years ago. Flint, obsidian, malachite, which is a copper ore, was discovered here, which hints at a vast trade network coming from these people. That started at the end of the Younger Dryas period. Here's a look from the site. This place was discovered in 1989. Research started here in 1991. Dam built on the Batman River. This place would have been totally lost to history if excavation work didn't start here in 1991. But what they found was pretty cool. And this is the oldest dated stable community village in Anatolia right here. Here's a look at some pics coming from about 29 years ago during the excavation work here. This is kind of lost history. Just like the video yesterday on Jerf LMR, there's nothing on YouTube about these sites. Lawn Sami started 11,600 years ago, seemed to be a stable community. And people thought there was just kind of a gradual period from hunter gatherers to these stable permanent communities. But the discovery of this site kind of rewrites that it happened pretty fast, and it happened at the end of the Younger Dryas period. Here you see three goat horns buried at the bottom of the dwelling. These people certainly had a symbolic view of the afterlife. The Penn Museum has a good article on this place. I will leave this link below. It says, Southeastern Anatolia, Turkish Asia Minor, was largely written off as a cultural backwater during the Neolithic period. The long transition from a hunting and gathering lifestyle to settled farming that perception changed dramatically with the discovery of Halan Sami. The small proto-Neolithic period site was discovered in 1989 during an archaeological reconnaissance prior to the construction of a dam on the Batman River. Here's a look at some of the artifacts discovered at the site. And I have, I have a feeling if it went to got flooded, they would have discovered a lot more. But stuff meant for pounding grain, those big auroch horns mounted on the wall of a big structure here. I'm just going to keep on reading the Penn Museum site here. It says the village was made up of semi-subterranean huts, a wattle and daub set, up, set upon stone foundations. Each hut was linked to an exterior plastered surface where many domestic activities would have been carried out. The huts rarely exceeded two meters in diameter and were probably used for sleeping. Two large structures found in the upper levels of the site were six meters in diameter and had stone benches and plastered hearths. One contained a wild cattle skull that had originally hung on the wall. The size and nature of these structures and associated deposits of exotic material suggest that they may have had some ritual or community-wide function. And I know that's a pretty general guess, but it probably is right here. These people had a spiritual view of things, and animals were definitely interpreted as godlike figures and put into their symbolism. Animals represented certain things to certain cultures that certainly displayed in ancient Egypt. Here on top, 9,500 year old big auroch horns found in a dwelling at Chatelahoyuk. Here down at the bottom, over 11,000 year old, 11,500 year old Halan Sami. Same horns were found in here. Bottom right, pillar Gobekli Tepe. And the cow symbolism goes way back in time with a lot of ancient cultures. Of course, we have uh, Hathor from Egypt, and even down at Napta Playa, one of the oldest sites in Egypt, there was cow horn symbolism found. The excavation work here, it seems, was kind of limited due to the time constraints because of the dam construction and the flooding, but they did uncover a lot of stuff here. It seems to reflect a lot of the villages or sites that I've talked about that stretch back into the Younger Dryas period. And if you're going to figure out where Gobekli Tepe came from, you certainly have to investigate the villages and the cities nearby that, came, that come from the same time period. They say other places here, goats and sheep were kind of the first 
animals that were kept at this site here. Seems pigs were the first animal kept. Here's an article from 26 years ago in the New York Times, First Settlers Domesticated Pigs Before Crops. The story was covered and I'd kind of forgotten about in the last quarter century, but it certainly plays a part in Gobekli Tepe and where farming came from. But it sure doesn't seem like there was a slow transition from hunter-gatherers to these stable communities. How long did people live in stable communities? Well, it seemed to happen kind of at the end of the Younger Dryas period, the time Gobekli Tepe was built. It says here, the presence of other rare obsidian cores. It talks about stuff found at the site. Copper ore suggests a trading network. And I have talked about how people were interconnected in these communities all around, surrounding the Gobekli Tepe area. It says, lastly, there is some evidence for control of sacred supernatural knowledge by these supra-household groups, as they call them. This takes the form of the auric skull within one of these structures and the strong association between the symbolization of auric in the sacred domain and the later Anatolia cultures. There at the bottom, some decoration on some chlorite stonework, I believe they call it here. Well, for the second day in a row, that's some lost history. Dam construction covered up a very important site, lost history, super important to talk about. Excavation work done here 26 years ago helps us put this story together. Here is Gobekli Tepe right down here. This is where that site is. Seems these people from all around this area were connected back 10, 12,000 years ago. We don't give them nearly enough credit. And the trade and the artifacts coming from that site kind of verify that. People who built Gobekli Tepe were living all around that area. Hope you thought that was cool, and you all have a very safe day.